Hey y'all, Johnny Mullet here with another update on the bus build. Um, I actually have to move the bus right now because I need to get it level. And in order to get the walls and everything straight, I want to get the bus level. So sit back and watch the excitement here. Um, all I got to do is back it straight up, move it over about six to eight feet, and hopefully we should be good to go. So let's see what happens. All right, guys, before we take off, I have nothing is secure in here. It's just like set in place. So these counters are not, or cabinets, they're not secured to the wall in any way. The stove and this cabinet here is not secured in any way, but everything that was like a loose item, I went ahead and picked it up and took it into the uh, garage or put it in drawers or whatever so let's see if uh, I know stuff might probably move around even though I'm only moving a few feet but hey it is what it is so hopefully nothing tips over right all right got my trusty uh, level here and we will see how this goes Right, guys we have some success as you can see the bus is 
pretty much level. Now, it's level side to side, but I doubt if it's level front to back. But we can give it a shot. We'll come out here to the middle of the floor. And we'll set the level down and see what we got. Yeah, we're definitely not level this way. I mean, it's a, uh, it's a little bit, but you know, every part of the floor is not level. See that? So I think as long as side to side is good, the rest should be all right. Because uh, my carpenter buddy said uh, the bus has got to be level, so this is about as level she's going to get. Hey, one thing I was really careful about is backing straight up. The reason is, is we got a lot of bolts. See that? These were all cut off when we cut the seats out. So I'm going to pick all these up. You know, and we'll get her cleaned up under here because we don't need no flat tires. That's, that's for sure. I mean, there's like a gazillion of these. So I was very careful not to run them over because I really don't want to go buying a tire right now. But yeah, see what I mean? You gotta be careful about that stuff. And you can see the indentation that the bus left from sitting in the ground. But, yeah, we're going to get all that cleaned up. Bus runs great. We had to block it to get the bus straight. Not a problem. Cool. There, I had to shut the bus off because you probably couldn't hear a word I was saying out there. But uh, anyway, one more addition to the bus build is we got an 8 inch spring and memory foam hybrid mattress. So like the bottom half is like springs and the top half is memory foam. And it's got a layer of felt. It's made by Linen Spa. It uh, sells on Amazon and it got really good reviews. It's a full size 74 by 54 mattress, so it's just enough room for two to be nice and cozy. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I had to get the, the uh, Geo Metro that was in hibernation all winter, and I got it out of the garage. So now we have room for my Amish carpenter buddy to come over and set up his you know, his table saw and all that equipment or whatever. You know, they they use a lot of electricity doing their carpentry work. But anyway, bus number 514. She's coming along. I'm going to have some really cool updates for you here in the next few days. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you next time.